All right, ladies and gentlemen, so these tires, I just had a nail through here. I went down to hiking and they plugged it. This is about 70 to 80,000 Ks. You can see a bit of wear on the inside tire. Inside's not, I wonder what that is. Maybe it's, it's a little bit too soft or the alignment's not quite right. Center of the tire still got a bit of go. Probably got another thousand or two thousand Ks in them. This one's probably got seventy or eighty thousand Ks on it. Probably more like probably it's called a seventy-five thousand Ks. This one I it's probably got fifty thousand Ks on the new all terrain and it's it's already probably as far or further down than the other ones. They're definitely softer. The older ones you can even see the side profile looks a bit more chunky. I really made them more road tires. See, they've got a nice big spring on here. Disc brakes at the back. Proper. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've had the, the tires for six years now, done approximately 75,000 Ks. I'd say 10,000 of which have been on gravel. It's done the Tankwa Karoo Road, been through the Cedarburg, Drakensberg. Craft so a lot of opportunities to get punctures, and I have had a couple on these, especially the the Goodyear Wrangler ATSAs. Uh, had two slow punctures from nails and one blowout in the tank of career on the back tire. Granted, the car was quite loaded, and I was going relatively briskly and came over a bump, and a lot of weight came on uh, as you sort of come down. A fair amount of weight came on the back tire and must have hit a rock or something and poof. luckily I was able to pull over to the side of the road and no dramas there. Uh, just a bit of a mission to change the tire on the extra obviously you've got to take all the luggage out. But all in all for the amount of, for the amount of rugged driving I've done I've been happy with the, with the durability of the tires. I must say that the Goodyear Adventure, the newer tires, don't look as, as rugged and cool and the sidewall looks more like a highway profile, but to be honest, I haven't had any punctures with that particular tire. The, the wear on it, it does go quicker. There's a, a thicker tread pattern on the older ATSAs, which I prefer the look of, but these perform well. Some people say they're a bit quieter. Not quite as rugged, but they perform just as well and no punctures, so you could say they're arguably a little bit tougher. So all in all, would I recommend a pair of Goodyear Wranglers? I certainly would. The Adventure, the Goodyear Adventurers. I did get a, a puncture on the Land Rover as well, the Land Rover Defender when I drove it. Actually a sidewall failure. Well, I think uh, something sharp must have gone through the sidewall. So, But th then again, I've heard BF Goodyear is having um, puncture issues as well in serious terrain. So no tire is puncture proof. But I would say the Goodyear Wranglers are on the tougher end of the scale, especially with a, with a Kevlar tread. They don't have Kevlar sidewalls in South Africa, apparently, which I would like to see. And then they're, they're well priced as well. There is more competition in, in that particular segment. So they, you could, they were the, the, the leading tire for a couple of years, but a few other brands like Maxxis and Falcon and, and BF Goodridge are, are catching up with some new offerings. So I think it's time for another top 10, ladies and gentlemen. But these are my experiences with the Goodyear Wrangler. And here has a little taste of some footage from 2016, the first adventure I took with these tires. Graf and Net on the off-road track and more. Catch you next time, Africa Sideways. Beautiful. Back in your back. Get a little bit hairy, huh? Full prank. Oh, wow. Bit of local wildlife. Not impressed with the X-Trail.
<laughs> Onwards and upwards. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a little bit of a break on Africa sideways, but Big Six is back in your life. Put some new Goodyear Wrangler 16 inch rims on. I've done 800 Ks in them, a lot of that was on gravel. Perfect, they're only 1,600 Rand a tire compared to the BF Goodridge all terrains, which are 4,000 Rand a tire. This, seems thing, this thing seems pucker. Made in South Africa. Really warms the heart to be supporting local products. Staying at Shepherd's Tree, self-catering. It's not even on safari now, which is great. Best kept secret of the Karoo, this little establishment. Beautiful mountains surrounding here. Endless 4x4 trucks. We're going to give the X-Trail a bit of a workout. Crawford in a beautiful RT town, New Bethesda down the road. There really is a lot to get stuck into. But there's going to be more, but after this we're going up to the Drakensberg, Stirkfontein Dam, some more R&R, &R, another 800 k's. It's going to be fun, it's going to be wet, it's going to be wild, only on Africa Sideways. Taking on the little off-road track here at Shepherd's Tree. Nothing too demanding, just a bit of bush giving the bottom of the car a bit of a scrub. Making our way to the top of the peak here for look-see. This borders the National Park. Matthew, the owner, wants to join the National Park. They're no longer farming. Well, not, not uh, livestock, game farming. So they can integrate it with the National Park. Unless you lose any property rights issue. Goodyear Wranglers doing well, gripping all the way up this, this little hill here. Well, not that little, but no slipping and sliding whatsoever. 16 inch mags, A line team. Look really nice with the black tints. Looking a bit dirty now. Lots of gravel being done on this trip, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I sing in the praises of the good years, we've got a stone jammed in here. Don't do now. So, this thing ain't coming on for love nor money. You're gonna have to go past the tire shop and have a look. Good year, you're under review, son. Turns out there was a puncher. So is that a big hole? Yeah. Good cartoon. <laughs> Just so. But to the credit of the tires, they didn't blow us. Ik laat gaan merken dat hij zit aan die kant. Ze kan zien. 